side of the trade early. Well, on Interbank, you can simply manage that from down here. Okay, so if I if I uh, right click on this actual order, okay, anywhere on the order, doesn't matter if you click this stop loss, the take profit, just anywhere on this order, you can see the uh, this little window will pop up, and when you look at your screen, you'll see it'll say modify or delete order. I right, just pause there to check on my, my uh, other position here. Uh, so if I wanted to manage this order, I could right click on this on the trade. You can't see it on the screen here, but I would then select Modify or Delete Order, and then this window would come up, and you can see that here's where I can modify the order. Okay, so this is if I wanted to just change it. Uh, I guess you could say the long way. Okay, this would this would be um, uh, uh, this I guess would be the the slow way of doing it. That's what I was trying to say. Let me go ahead and close this out. Now again, come down here, right click. Now this time I'm going to click on. You might be able to see this in your window. Close order. Okay. So if I wanted to exit, now this would be, um, you know, say the the trade has gone off, uh, the deviation was fairly large, and the Swiss has come down. And let's say I've got 30, uh, let's just say 35 pips worth of profit, and it just looks like the market is slowing down. Let me move this up. Let's say you know it's it's around a, resi a support area like this, and it just can't break through. Uh, and it's not going to make the extra 10 pips, I don't think. Well, what I can do is just click on this button here, and it will immediately close the Swiss, and it will give you the, the rate. So it will close it at 2020, which is meaning right there. And you'll see that this rate will change. As, as the price here changes, the price here will change. Now, is it possible to have this to keep this window open right here? And you know, I guess the, yeah, the answer is you could, um, you know, and what you could do is if you have your chart over here, you could just move, uh, and, and if you have two screens, you could move your, uh, you could move this window over. That is one possibility, uh, but I I prefer to keep a, a, a cleaner screen than that. So um, you know, if I was looking to exit, for example, if the Swiss were moving down, and I were looking to exit, what I would rather do is click here, click here, and then click on close order. Uh, because I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be worried about, 